You see, uh, I told you earlier, last time I taught, uh, when I came to join this kind of monastic life under this Buddha, Buddha, Buddha Sangha, Buddha place, I thought the earlier practice I did was out of the Buddha teaching. I stopped that. Actually, we can think like this. Buddha teaching started in India 2,500 years ago. And Buddha sometimes give his teaching not only to his Buddhist people, to other people also. So those other people might, who has gained the teaching also are practicing that, but without calling them Buddhism. And it has been 2,500 years until today. Surely other, other kind of teaching also has the element of Buddha teaching inside, without them realizing that it is Buddha teaching. Yeah, just like the method I practice, breathing in, breathing out. Just doing that simple thing can gain so many wonderful experiences. Quiet, peaceful, more compassionate, more loving, more understanding. People come for, to you to solve their problems. Yeah. Just the many people like to talk to me, it seems like I can let them vent their problem at a time. And I don't feel tired, I don't feel my energy drained. I just can listen only that time. If I will refer back to the this sutta, that kind of practice I did earlier, it's no wrong. No, again, nothing. Again, Buddha teaching. But of course, I will not teach people to practice so harm, so harm, so harm, because this so harm, they emphasize this word with a meaning. Oh, but we don't use that word, the effect still the same. Let go of the wording, just breathe in, breathe out. Don't think that you sit, you can aware of your breathing, aware of breathing, natural breathing. What is natural breathing? Tell me what is natural breathing. When you need more oxygen, you breathe heavier. You don't need oxygen, you breathe lower. Sometimes your thoughts come, you feel anger, optimally you breathe harder. Uh, if you think natural breathing is you let your own body's breathing, it is really natural breathing, but there is still some kind of effort, some kind of intention. There is still intention. It depends on the weight of the intention of breathing on. Yeah. So if people want to parry this, do it with some force first. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax as relaxed as possible, as calm as possible. Yeah as peaceful as possible. When your body is relaxed, your breathing will start to relax also. Uh, just keep on doing that. When you start to think, don't force yourself to come back. Just let it think and you do the same thing. You don't think that your mind can do one thing only, cannot do two things. Let it be. Forget about that. Just breathe in, breathe out. Thinking, let it be. Just know. And anger arise, just let it be. Just do the thing. Your job is only breathe in, breathe out. And naturally, you become calm and peaceful. You gain many experience without stopping and what particular thing that you're thinking, thinking, just stop there, run. No, just do the same thing. Wisdom will arise. Impermanent will be known. Keep on doing that. Mm. Awareness will become greater. Not only one part, one part, one part. The whole body you start to aware. Then you aware whatever happening in you, you start to aware. You're angry, sad, some past experience, then some, some, part, some past vision will appear in your mind if you are too calm. You have become calmer and peaceful with your breath. Uh, past vision will arise. Maybe some of them vision arise that you haven't seen that kind of faces before. Uh, that I believe the past life vision. Just let it come up. Mm, wisdom will arise. Just practice that. Simple thing. As you practice that, you'll start to become calm and peaceful. But Calm and peaceful, breathing, not everybody started easily. Huh? Some started quite hard, quite difficult. Let them be. Don't tell them to breathe your abdomen or breathe. Let them breathe, natura breathe naturally to their own right. Huh? They might breathe with the chest or breathe with the tummy. Let it be. They will find their experience to make. When they, the experience go longer, they will start to breathe more calmer, calmer. This is their experience, they gain experience. And if 
have a chance to meet somebody, if I had a chance to meet somebody to practice, I would tell them practice at their way, then I can lead them to much calmer practice, a very simple thing. You half sleep, half aware of your breathing, your body will start to become calm. Maybe you can go 99% sleep, 1% aware of breathing, your breathing will become more calm, and then it is not sleeping. When you are sitting, you don't sleep, you are more alert when you try to sleep. But when you are sleepy, you don't fight the sleepiness, you become more sleepy. But when you are sleepy, sleep, but with the sitting posture straight, you won't fall asleep. Another dimension of consciousness will arise. This will become very clear. You can see things happen as it is. It can be experienced. It don't have to go to very far, very long time to experience that. Anybody just do that can experience it.